Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today we have a very special video. It's a preview of Bao doing a daily recap, live trading, and showing examples of one, our first bounce long strategy, and two, our death line short strategy that we promote at MIC, and it's working for many, many members. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday, April 11th, 2019. It's been a while since we did the last daily recap, but today's a very good lesson, man. We woke up today and there's nothing moving and all of a sudden, boom, FTFT and GLG ran like crazy. And these are like very difficult to find uh, short locates. FTFT, there's like, dude, I couldn't find anything pre-market. Then I finally found some. Uh, after the open, but it was not much size. So maybe I had like 9,000 shares, which is, I mean, for this kind of stock, maybe I don't want to have anything more than 9,000 shares anyway. So too short. But uh, but quickly we recognized this was not a fucking short. Uh, we posted that in the room. Can you guys all hear me, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out, I'm going to show you my, my process to figure out why this was not a short. Remember, this is my process. You guys are probably better. Shit, man, look at this thing run. Let me put some fantasy orders at the $3 line. <laughs> Who the fuck knows, right? Just in case, man. Okay. Um, and I'm using tiny size. Just it's front side setup. If you must touch this short, you're fucking sticking your toe in. I'm putting this shit way outside of the money right now at $3, man. Three fucking dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping in parabolics it goes up. I'm not fucking... Touching this shit when it's starting to consolidate and stabilize. Notice the line is being fucking held right here. 259, this little notch, right? If you want to expand this, right here, this is how I find out what the fudge factor is. I, I, I click on this thing. 255 is the fudge factor. Let's see if it bounces right off 255. The fucking bounce right off 255, guys. You see, that's how we do the first bounce. So if it, if it breaks under 255, it's going to go all the way back down. But it's holding 255. You just saw that in real time. It held 255. And I just showed you exactly how I found that number. I found the low end of the wick right here. I wish I could point it. I don't have a finger. <laughs> um, it says low 255. And that's pretty much the fact of fudge factor. And I saw it hit 255 and bounce right back up. So let's see if it holds, man. Let's see. And look, oh my God, 255 had 20,000 shares of bidders. So what we saw on the chart conforms exactly on level two. So this lines thing that we're talking about, this strategy, there's something to it, huh, guys? It's all these, you see all these indicators lining up. The indicator is, first of all, this is the 255 the low end of the wick, uh, the low right there, the low end of the print. And then when we went down there, we saw 20,000 bids. Those guys are right here, 20,000. So, you know, it's kind of scary as hell. You know, so if you were to play the low, this is like the risk reward thing. If you do a 255, you can set a 248 stop, 249 stop maybe. You know, you don't lose much, but, you, but the risk reward is great. That's the concept behind the first bounce. The first bounce is a is a bounce that is right off, let me see. So this is kind of scary, ran up to 278. So the, it was only 20 cents. You see, this is why I don't want to touch this thing. This, if, you, if you were aggressive, you can enter 255 and that filled 256. And now you would, you know, scout for 10 cents, whatever. But it, for, for me, it's like, dude, it's too scary unless you're really good at stopping right away. Because if 255, so I would do a 256, and then, uh, you know, that will be it. And do a stop. If you want, do a stop under 253. But you got to be fucking quick, man. Sometimes it will skip uh, through many pennies, right? So that, that's the whole thing behind the bounce. It's like, so first you have to determine where. So the magic lies in this, man, the fudge factor. When I say 260, I don't just mean 260, guys. This is part of the scaling and the fudge factor, right? See, this is why I don't touch this shit. You see that? 255 was a fucking fake it should go down to here, 218, 219. 230 would be the support, but dude, I, I wouldn't trust that. I would use this. 
Let's take a look at what the VWAP is. VWAP is this, guys. VWAP is 216. Holy shit. 217. Do you see how it corresponds to this level right here? This is not a coincidence, man. The lines show you everything. And you can basically layer all these indicators. I call these indicators like VWAP's an indicator. If you want to use a moving average as an indicator, but I just basically use my lines and my VWAP. And look at this, man. This is where I, I didn't even look at the VWAP. It was the first time I looked at VWAP, by the way. And I, I noticed this spot right here. This, this, so let's click on this. Look at that. The low is 218. 218. And then you go to the VWAP, it's 217. It's fucking dead on, right? This is DOS. This is real tick. This is DOS. I want to show you because I use DOS and it shows you uh, VWAP. Um, you, you see that, guys? These, li these lines don't lie, man. It fucking corresponds. So VWAP's an indicator, and, and you can actually see it right here. This is the fucking support. <coughs> Even if you got enter at 255, you're still okay. But that's a risky, I mean, because I'm looking at this. It only went down 20 cents. That is not big enough range for me to get a bounce, a big bounce I like. So let's go reverse. Let's go to the start of the day and let's see. So that, that was pretty much on real-time analysis of 255. Um, notice, you know, you didn't lose that much. If you just waited there, you wouldn't lose that much. Uh, you, you would lose, but you wouldn't lose that much. But I'm just waiting for the 217 level here. You know, and that's pretty much testing the VWAP. So the indicators kind of line up. So the more the indicators line up, the better. I'm not a fan of doing the bounce very high. I need to have some sort of meat on the bone because even if I get into the bounce at 255, where would I sell? 265, only 10 cents and risk what? Losing all this because if this thing tanks, like which it did, it dropped like 20 cents right away. So you always have to think when you plan your trade, you always have to think where you're going to enter and where you're going to exit. And is there enough meat? So that's the meat is basically the risk reward ratio. We don't calculate these in terms of one R, two R, three R. I don't, I don't do that. Other people may teach you to do that. I don't do that. I kind of use it in my head and I'm looking at, so this one, there's no pivot lines drawn. I wish there were, but there were, there's not. Um, you can manually do it yourself. And I think Joe has it, but it's, it's, it's way over, man. You, you just have to, you, you can do it. You can use math and, and draw and figure out the pivot line. I'm pretty sure one of you guys done, done this, man. There's like, um, but do you see that 255, man? That's why it's like, you know what, man? That's not worth it because, because what's the risk? The risk is that 255 collapses. It's gonna, it potentially is going to keep walking down to 218, 220 line right there. And I'm like, what, where, where am I selling? This is where I actually want to short, guys. I want to short up here, man. If this sucker gets back to the 260s, I'm fucking shorting. And that's how you do it. If it tape breaks 260, then you put a, 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 a stop of maybe 10 cents above it. You see what I'm saying? So one, the top is set. Look at the top. It's set at 260. If I was not doing this daily recap, I would be shorting this thing here around the 260s. Once it starts up and, it, and, and once the top hits and it starts to like stall, I was short it because there's a lot of indicators I line up. That's 260 from the morning was a resistance. And so it matches this resistance. So both of these are conforming to the chart. So 260 now is a good line. But like I said, man, these are scouts. These are all front side scouts. If you must break a fucking rule, you need to understand that you know, man, you got to go in and out. You can't be fucking holding this shit. And this shit breaks 260, goes to 270. Next, you know, it's 350. You have to have proper risk management. But if you short at the right levels and you lose, it's not that much. The key is don't fucking chase this shit. You have to understand where the levels are and then, you know, treat it like that. So it bounced off here. But then you have to take a look at the whole history of the chart in the pre-market, guys. It bounced off at of this level here, 3,225. Huh? Let me see. 225. So you use all this. I mean, these, this is not an exact science. This is art as well as science. So notice that 255 reclaim, it fucking did a fudge factor all the way down here, guys. 
know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if it's a mirror, exact mirror opposite, and you could predict it 100%, it would not work, dude. Everybody will fucking make a trillion dollars, right? That's why trading is so difficult. All you can use is the historical chart to figure out what's going to happen in the future. And so I'm lining up as much information as I can. This is not an exact science. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right. See you guys.